Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. We have, or we are expecting divine intervention this week. Hallelujah. You don't have many days left, so with a with few days that is left, we expect divine intervention. Lift up your hand. So with me, Father God, in the name of Jesus, as we pray, we are asking you for your intervention in every area of our lives. We know by your word, whenever you intervene in a situation, it change for the better. As we have gathered tonight, intervene in our marriages, intervene in our work, intervene in our finances, intervene in this church, intervene in every area of our life in the name of Jesus. Now lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. Now, I don't want to take much time of the prophet. So let's appreciate and welcome Prophet Stevie Mensah to the house. Come on, come on, let me see you. Give him a big hand. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, I said praise the Lord. God is good. And all the time, our God is good indeed. Amen. Has God really been good to you? Amen. I mean, if he has been good to you now, I was expecting to hear some shouting and some screaming. Amen. Praise the Lord. If there is any time that we really need to appreciate God, it's now. Hey. Yeah. If there's any time that we really need to be thankful to God, it is now. Amen. Amen. There are many who were with us two years ago who are no longer with us. Yeah. I mean, even this year alone. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Amen. But if he has preserved you, Amen. if somebody here with me, yeah. if he has protected you, yeah. then you have every cause to give him thanks and praises. Yeah. And so please, once again, lift up your voice hey, and give him the glory. Give him the praise. Father, we thank you. Just lift up your hands. And
and begin to thank God for tonight. We bless you tonight. Magada, gada, 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 gada. As we gather here tonight, as we've gathered here tonight, we thank you, Lord, that you are in our midst. It's not because we are righteous, but it's simply because of your mercies that you have visited us this, uh, this evening. Lord, and we want to thank you. And we thank you for the manifestation of your power. My God, throughout, not just during this conference, but throughout the year. So your name will be glorified. We bow before you, Lord, and we worship you. We give you the glory, Lord, and we give you the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Somebody put your hands together to the glory of the Lord. And, and, and please take your seats in heavenly places. Let's put our hands together for the music team. Amen. Amen. And especially Minister Thomas, whom I have known for about 20, 25 years, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's put our hands together for them once again. Amen. Praise God. Amen. How many of you are expecting God to intervene in your life? The lady who was ministering, the lady speaking with Minister Thomas at the back. The lady speaking with me, Sir Thomas, the Lord was telling me that, I should tell you that delay is not denial. Yeah. I mean, mark it down. Are you with me? Yes. Delay is not denial. There's something you've been waiting for. I mean, God will surprise you this year in the name of Jesus. Do, do, you, do you believe it? Yes. God will come through for you. God will not disappoint you in the name of Jesus. So that he will receive all the glory. Amen. He will come through for you. That men will see and know that you serve a living God indeed. Father, we thank you for intervening tonight. We give you the glory. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen. Somebody put your hands together to the glory of the Lord. And then the lady, mommy sitting here, you, you are going, I don't know if it's happened already, but you, you, are, you are going to do something for somebody who will not appreciate what you have done. Are you with me? Yes. But the Lord is telling me to tell you that make sure that you don't react. Leave it to him. And in due course, he will elevate you. In due course, he will honor you in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Or if you believe that, put your hands together to the glory of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. God is good. And all the time, Amen. First of all, we want to honor the senior pastor of the house. Amen. My very good friend. I don't know whether he's older or younger. He, he's, got, he's got his baby face, so I don't know whether he's a young man or an old man. I don't know. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. But, but we thank God for his life. Amen. Amen. I call him I call him the gentle giant. Amen. He's a giant and yet very gentle. Amen. Help me to appreciate Pastor Apostle Richard. Amen. God bless you for giving me the opportunity to minister here during this week. Amen. I thank God for your life and for your humility. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Is is it truly? You know, I always say that one of the signs of a genuine man of God is their humility. Amen. When, when you go somewhere and the person is speaking arrogantly, don't go there again. Yeah. yeah. Don't go there again. Yeah. You're in the wrong place. I tell you, it's always one of the signs. Yeah. When you go anywhere, they're arrogant, boasting as if uh, they they are the one who made things happen and not God. Then, then stay away. Don't go there again. You're in the wrong place. You, you, will, catch, you will catch a demon. No, I'm, I'm not joking. You will catch a demon. Yeah. Amen. It's always a good sign of a genuine man of God when they are very humble. Amen. Help me to appreciate him once again. And, 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 and the first lady who is not here tonight, let's put our hands together for mommy also. Praise the Lord. Oh, praise Jesus Christ. Amen. 
And also let's put our hands together for Pastor Amen and all the leaders in the house. Yes, God. As I was sitting there, the Lord was telling me that on Friday when you are coming, come with a bottle of oil. Prefer, if, if pastor prayed over it, it's okay to bring it. But if another man of God has prayed over it, don't bring it. It won't work. Amen. Amen. If, if, if not, buy a new one. But if pastor has prayed over it, you can bring it. If it's prayed over by a pastor of this church, it's okay to use it again. But if a strange man of God has prayed over it, don't bring it. It won't work. Amen. And, 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 and when you're coming on Friday, bring an anointing oil and, and I will direct you um, um, of what to do with it. Amen. It's, uh, the oil is very powerful. The anointing is very tangible. Oh, it's powerful. I've seen, um, I've seen God. Um, sorry, let me just, my, oh, yes, my, I was trying to get in the right direction. Amen. I, I've seen God do mighty things through the anointing. Even today, I received a testimony. Maybe I should read it for you to, for you to hear it. Amen. God, 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 God is good. Amen. God is real. He's very real. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. This is a testimony I received today. It says, again, Daddy, God has been good again. We took Amarisa to see a consultant this morning, only to find out all the cysts she was born with have disappeared. So no surgery is required. Yes. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. The surgery has been, just by the anointing oil. There's power in it. Amen. Amen. So Friday when you're coming, make sure you invite somebody and tell them to bring an anointing oil. Amen. Praise the Lord. I, I, I've been to places where I've anointed the place and people living in the house have run away. Yeah. They run away. Yeah. Because of the oil. Yeah. They run away. They run away without getting their pay. Yeah. There was a lady who was trying to evict a man from a house in Ghana. She's in Chicago. And you know, when they know you don't live there, they'll do everything to frustrate you. And it looked like he had fortified himself spiritually so that the woman could not go to the house. They had been to court several times. It didn't work. She called me from Chicago. I told her to buy an anointing oil. I prayed over it over the phone. And I told her to find a way of going to the house and pouring it on the ground. The man ran out of the house. I have the video. The man ran out of the house and left his goods behind. It was, it was the local boys who went to go and pick the things for him. He was afraid to go back into the house. There's something there. There's a lady too who had rented her house. She, she has a story building in Ghana, but she has what we call a boys' quarters. Those of you who are not from Ghana, boys' quarters is a small house you build at the back of your story build, your house, and you can stay there sometimes. So when she comes, when she goes back home, she stays there. She stays there. One day, and anytime she's going to Ghana, she will make sure I pray over an anointing one before she takes it. And she had recently rented the story building to um, a bank manager. And then the wife of the bank manager came to see the woman and said that, my husband said that since you came this time, you have been troubling him a lot. So, and, and I told my wife that, my husband, that she only prays, there's nothing she does in this house. Then she said that apparently the man had gone to get some juju to fortify himself at the workplace, at the workplace. But since she came, the thing has stopped working. These are life stories. These are true stories. You know, we have something. We have some believers. We have, we have something. It's just that sometimes we don't value it enough. And I've seen, I can tell you stories upon stories about the anointing oil. In fact, this person who sent me this testimony, in fact, the same person who sent the testimony that I read out, when she was pregnant, they had done so many scans. And they had discovered that the baby's private part was missing. And so they had transferred her to a specialist hospital in Leicester. So that as, as soon as she delivers, there were surgeons on standby to operate on the baby. When she delivered, the midwife screamed. And she screamed and she called the doctors. 
And they wouldn't have turned the baby. And, and in fact, the first thing the baby came out was to do a wee, which would have been impossible. Which would have been impossible. The same lady. So there's power in the anointing oil. There's power in it. And I know that this week, God will intervene in your life. Listen to me. God is about to transform your life for his good. Is somebody here with me? I've seen the hand of God. So I, I, I only preach what I have seen, I have heard, and I have touched. I don't tell stories. I preach from experience. Is somebody here with me? You will have a mighty experience this week in the name of Jesus Christ. If I heard you, amen, then you are the one I'm prophesying to tonight. Amen. Amen. Let me say a few words and we'll pray tonight. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus Christ. Uh, there's something I've been preaching on recently and, and, and the Lord is laying upon my heart to, 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 to go back to that message. Uh, if you will quickly open your Bibles with me to the book of 1 Samuel, um, chapter number 30, and we'll just read a few verses tonight um, and then we'll spend time to pray uh, before I go. Amen. Praise the Lord. Are you ready for God to intervene in your life? Yes, he will surely do it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Believe this, God. In, this, in fact, I've been blessed more during this pandemic than ever. Yeah. Yeah. I've been blessed more. I've seen God more during this pandemic than ever. And, and I was telling somebody that sometimes God would do it in such a way that you have no choice but to give him the glory. Yeah. Somebody with me. Yeah. Amen. God will do it in such a way that you, 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 you have no choice but to give him and only him the glory. And that is exactly what is going to happen to somebody during this week in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So 1 Samuel chapter 30 verses 7 to 8. Amen. And I read from the New King James Version. It says, Now David was greatly distressed for the, spe the people spoke of stoning him. Because the soul of the people was grieved. Every man for his sons and his daughters. But David strengthened himself in the Lord his God. Then David said to Abiathar the priest, Ahimelech's son, please bring me the effort here to me. And Abiathar brought the effort to David. So David inquired of the Lord saying, shall I pursue this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for you shall surely overtake them and without fail recover all. Amen. Oh! Amen. Without fail, God will bless you. Amen. Without fail, Amen. God will intervene in your life. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. I also like Psalm 102, verse 13, one of my favorite verses. Amen. It says, You will arise. And have mercy on Zion. For the time to favor her has what? He said, yes, the set time has what? Has come. The set time has come. Amen. Somebody say, my time has come. Say, this is my season. Amen. Praise the Lord. Divine favor is the time that God decides to, to, to show up in your case. Is somebody here with me? That's divine favor. Amen. I mean, the time that God sets to, 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 to show up in, 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 in that situation. And may tonight be that time for somebody in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Divine favor is the time that God decides to turn your captivity around. And tonight, I see the Lord turning your captivity around in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey! Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Blind Bartimaeus was, well, he's blind of course, and he was begging. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. He was blind and he was begging. Amen. Blind and begging. In other words, he didn't have money. When somebody is begging, it means they don't have money. Praise the Lord. And blind because blind also, meaning that he can't see. Praise the Lord. 
But a time came. So time is crucial when it comes to divine intervention. Amen. A time came when Jesus Christ was passing by. Praise the Lord. Amen. And blind Bartimaeus called unto Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. He cried unto Jesus Christ. Amen. And, 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 and the Lord stopped and intervened in his case. Praise the Lord. From that moment onwards, we never heard him begging again. Oh, I thought somebody came to church today. Amen. From that moment onwards, he recovered his sight. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. But he said, Jesus, he called him, he said, Son of David, have mercy on me. Divine intervention is the time that God chooses to have mercy on you. Praise the Lord. And may the Lord have mercy on you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Praise God. You know, it's by his mercies that we are even able to stand here to preach. Yeah. Praise the Lord. And now, it's one thing that you must understand. That God, you see, the devil is so smart. I always tell people that Satan is not as powerful as you think. No. When you are born again, are you with me? What he does is that he plays games on you rather. He plays games. And he looks for opportunities to attack. We see that in the encounter between Jesus and the devil. All he was doing was looking for an opportunity. And I always tell people that very often, if you don't give him the chance, he can't come in. He can't come in. Well, he brings you to a point where you think that it's because of something you've done, God can't bless you. It's a deception. Yeah. It's a de- That's why Bartimaeus says, son, he says, son of David, have mercy, mercy. What am I saying tonight? God will intervene in your life tonight, not because of anything you have done right. Is somebody here with me? Even if you have done anything wrong because of his message, you will intervene tonight. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And you've got to understand that. He blesses you. He intervenes in your life because of his message. Full stop. Don't allow the enemy to remind you of something you did five years ago, something you did last night. No. Yeah. And because if you have that mindset, you can come into a meeting like this and not receive your breakthrough. But God intervenes in our life because of his mercies. Yeah. Because of his compassion. And may the Lord have compassion on you in the name of Jesus Christ. And intervene in every area of your life. Praise the Lord. Yeah. It's important that you understand that. Amen. It's important that you understand that. Somebody came to me and said, Pastor, we are doing communion service. I can't take the communion because I didn't pray, I didn't fast. Hey. Did I say it correctly? (laughs) It's a Greek word. So I asked the person, when will you be holy to take it? When? 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 It will never happen. I said, when? When are you going to be holy to take the communion? When? Maybe when you're in heaven. But, but <laughs> while you're on here, you'll never be qualified. No, you'll never be qualified. You will never be qualified. Yeah. Yeah. It says, it says the blood of the new covenant, which was shed for the remissions of your sins. Sins, sins, sins. You take it because you're a sinner. Yeah. You take the communion because you're a sinner. That's why you're taking it. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus Christ. So God will intervene in your life this week because of his mercies and nothing else. Praise the Lord. Amen. I see open heavens over your life this week in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. God will intervene in your life when you are a beggar. He was a beggar. Beggar. Begging for money. Amen. God will intervene. You need God's divine intervention when you are struggling for something. Is somebody here with me? 
Yes, when you are struggling for something, whatever you are struggling for, may Jesus stop and pay attention to you this week in the name of Jesus Christ. And I want you to believe it. Don't wait until I tell you strange stories before you know I'm a prophet. Don't wait until I tell you that I saw a monkey on your shoulder before you know I'm a prophet. Is somebody here with me? Yeah. I want you to believe it. He will do it. Yeah. I have testimonies upon testimonies. Sometimes when it's too simple, we don't believe it. Yeah. I want it to be complicated. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Before, isn't it? That's what they do. They see them going there. The same person who will go to another meeting and give five thousand dollars, you come and stand and ask for offering. They will not even give one pound. Because over there they saw that the monkey was wearing socks with gla- <laughs> with glasses and entered your room. No, people like that. When it's simple, we don't believe it. So bring $1,000 and then the, the, the monkey will remove the socks and run away. Then you see they'll bring it. Yeah. Yeah. But I want you to believe that the Lord will intervene in your life this week. Yeah. He will bless you in the name of Jesus. You know, one of the testimonies I've seen in my ministry is people who came here, didn't have papers, um, were doing many jobs and things, and I've seen about, about 95% of them now are professionals. Yeah. It's that simple. We don't have to do anything strange before you believe it. Just believe. Just believe. Amen. You need divine intervention when somebody is sitting on your case. Amen. He was crying out to Jesus, but the people were preventing him. Is somebody here with me? Today, whoever is sitting on your case will receive the fire of God. Is somebody here with me? Yes. You need divine intervention when somebody is determined to make sure you don't break through. But this week, they will expire in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. I don't know why I'm saying that. That wasn't part of my message. Praise the Lord. But somebody will, will give way, will give way for you to break through. At the workplace, I see you breaking through. Uh, in your finances, I see you breaking through in the name of Jesus. In the city of London, I see you breaking through in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Somebody who has been sitting on your case will have no choice but to vacate the place for you to occupy your position in the name of Jesus Christ. David was anointed king and yet Saul was refusing to vacate the place. Is somebody here with me? Praise the Lord. But your soul will expire in the name of Jesus. You will mount your throne in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will get there in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Because the Lord will intervene in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Oh, I said praise the Lord. God is good and all the time our God is good indeed David and his men had gone out and left the family behind we're going to be praying soon and maybe we're going to be praying soon uh, by the time David and his men came up the, the marauding Amalekites had invaded his camp and taken his children and all his valuable possessions and they had burned the place down. It means that they had nothing. They had nothing. Yes, thank you, sir. Yeah. They had nothing. Everything was taken away. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus Christ. Whatever, you see, you need divine intervention when you need to recover what the enemy has taken from you. You see, I only had one amen today. I said you need divine intervention when you need to recover what the enemy has stolen from you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Me, I don't know about your life, but for me, the enemy had taken so many things away from me. Praise the Lord. Amen. But through divine intervention, I've seen God restoring me. Amen. The same God who is restoring me will restore you also in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. The enemy had taken everything away from him. What has the enemy taken from you? 
What has the enemy taken away from you? You need divine intervention. Praise God. And God will intervene tonight. I said God will intervene tonight. There's somebody, even as I'm speaking now, there's an, e- there's an, an email on the way to you. Is somebody here with me? Even as I'm speaking right now, praise the Lord. There was a lady who was dealing with a particular case. And we were in a meeting like this. And I said the same thing. Amen. And in the middle of the night, when the office is closed, suddenly she receives an email about a case. Praise the Lord. You will receive that email in the name of Jesus Christ. I was in America about two months ago. And I visited somebody's house. He had applied um, to, um, you know those people who drive buses with disabled people around? Yes. And to, to, to get that thing, you have to buy the bus. So he has spent money to buy it. The bus is sitting there for two years. They hadn't completed it. Meanwhile, while the bus is there, you must be paying insurance. Plus the loan. Yeah. I, I visited, the, I stayed in their house. Now this is my brother-in-law. So anytime I'm going to America, he wants me to pass by the house. By the time I left, the day while I was on the plane, he said, in the middle of the night, that night I left. He said, about 11 in the night, he received an email that they've been trying to contact him. It means that in the spiritual realm, something had intervened in the spiritual realm. Something was holding, like in the case of Daniel, in the spiritual realm, there was, there was a principality that had accumulated all the emails and kept them. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. You know, I've been in, I've been, I've been in ministry for some time now, but the, some time, for some time, the same people I used to meet who didn't recognize me, suddenly, you know when God just turns things around? Suddenly, God, you know what happened before? The enemy had, blind, blind, you know, some of you have that problem. Where the enemy deliberately blinds somebody. I mean, so they can't see you. They can't see you. They're carrying what you need to break through. And you got so close, but somehow they could not locate you. Because there's a principality that was standing between you and the person. I've seen, I've seen this several times. We've prayed and suddenly God just opened doors for people. Is somebody here with me? Yeah. Whatever is holding your blessing in the spiritual realm, any principality, this week, they will expire in the name of Jesus. I see the Lord dispatching angels to fight for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I said, I see the Lord dispatching angels uh, to fight for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, any principality hindering your divine intervention will expire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Is somebody with me? Yeah, they will expire. They will go. They will have no choice but to give way. There was a church I visited. Nobody was going to the church. The people were not going. Nobody was going. But... I went there the first night, suddenly 50 people. I went the following week, the following day, 75. Then the, the, the last day, we had more than 100. Now, what was happening? Was it not the same church? In fact, bigger pastors had been to that church before. But it was almost as if there's something standing at the gates. Do you know sometimes, not even at the gates, sometimes even in your house, if you're not very prayerful, they come and stand by your door. Don't go to church. And they <laughs> don't go. <laughs> because you don't pray. <laughs> then you're sitting and lying in bed with, with your husband, waiting for Facebook to come on. How can you worship God with your husband in bed? Facebook live. How? How? And the pastor is suffering. They were not coming. <laughs> this devil, eh? <laughs> he will stop you. Amen. 
but you break through tonight. The enemy must give way. I said the enemy must give way. God will intervene in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You need divine intervention when you are very distressed. In here, the Bible says, now David was greatly distressed. In other words, he was broken. Anytime I'm going through something, I look for God's divine intervention. I'll say it again. It's not a time to cry. It's a time to look for God. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Amen. It's in the midst of the confusion that God appears sometimes. Yeah. You may be here. Maybe you are broken. And maybe you are distressed. Something has, is worrying you and you are sitting here tonight. I want you to understand that just as God intervened in David's case, he will do the same for you tonight. Whatever the case may be. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Oh, I said praise the Lord. Yeah. David was distressed. People that he had brought up. People he had brought up. People he had brought up. Amen. And made them powerful men. Made them powerful warriors. Amen. Amen. Decided to stone him because of their possessions. Praise God. Amen. So he was distressed. He was, he was broken. His life was at stake. You need God when your life is at stake. When the doctors have given you a bad report and your life is at stake, may the Lord intervene in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Yes. His life was at stake. Amen. And God showed up. Amen. We'll continue with this tomorrow. God showed up. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's nearly 10 past nine. And I want you to pray for at least 15 minutes before I hand the mic over. Have you been blessed tonight? Yes. Amen. So today I've only dealt with David was greatly distressed. I'll continue the rest tomorrow. Amen. Praise the Lord. Have you, have you been blessed today? Amen. Now, now mommy, this, 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 this chapter, verse, first Samuel chapter 30, is your, is your, is your chapter. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see how God will open doors for you. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Can we all rise up now, please? Amen. Now, remember what I said at the beginning. It's by his mercies. Don't let the devil um, say anything negative about your, 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 your life to you. Praise God. If that was the case, then look at the people in the Bible. Look at David. Look at Abraham. Look at um, Jacob. Someone, look at even Saul. Saul was on his way to go and kill. He was on his way to go and maim people. He was on his way to go and imprison innocent people. And yet, the Lord showed mercy. Yeah. And the Lord showed mercy. Well, you haven't done any of that. So, so don't let the, the enemy put any negative thoughts in your mind. Are you with me? God will bless you. Simply, say, say, God will bless me. Simply because of his mercies. Yes. Simple. He will come through for you. You will have a testimony. In the name, and I pray for you, my sister. I come against any attack against your health. My sister here. Can you come on Friday? Yeah, come with the anointing and remind me. Yeah, yeah. Come against any attack against your health. Whatever the enemy has programmed in the spiritual realm concerning your health, I destroy it right now in the name of Jesus. And I release you now in the mighty name. I cancel it in the spiritual realm. And I declare that it will never manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, please lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. Begin to thank God for his mercies. Hey! Thank the Lord for his mercies. Thank the Lord for his grace. Just thank the Lord for his mercies. Thank the Lord for his mercies. Father, we thank you for your mercies. We thank you. We thank you. Thank the Lord for his mercies. As we sing this song just for two minutes. In the name of Jesus. Thank the Lord for his mercies. We thank you for your mercies. And for your love. Gada, 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 gada. Hey. Brada, gada, 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 gada. Hey. 
Thank you for your mercy, so God. Thank you, Jesus. Hey. Jesus, we thank you, God. Lift up your hands tonight. Thank you, God. Lift up your hands tonight. Thank you. Lift up your hands tonight. Thank you, Lord. Lift up your hands tonight. Hey. Jesus. We thank you, Lord. God. You are so mercy. You are so mercy. You are so mercy. Oh, I'm the one. Say, I'm the one. You are. Magada, gada, 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 gada. Lift up your hands. You sing along if you know the song. Make it a brosegated. Oh, make it a get 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 I thank you. I thank you that you loved me so much. That you loved me so much that you came to die for me. That you came to die. Say, oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. I thank you. I thank you for the precious blood. For the precious blood that was shed for me. That was shed for me. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The blood. The blood that speaks better things. That speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Than the blood of Abel. Speak for me tonight. Speak for me tonight. Speak for me tonight. Speak for me tonight. In the name of Jesus. Silence the voice of the wicked one. Hindering my breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. Now put your hands together and begin to pray. Put your hands together and begin to pray. Somebody pray. You are doing very well. You are doing very well. Silence the wicked word of my life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of the wicked one, somebody pray, 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 pray. You are doing well. In the name of Jesus, silence the wicked one of my life. The wicked one that is following me, the wicked one that is after the church. Silence, somebody pray, 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 pray. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, silence the wicked one, oh God. Silence the wicked one, oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Silence the wicked one of the blind man. Silence the wicked one, oh God. In the name of Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Let your blast speak for me, oh God. Let your blast speak for you, God. The blood that speaks better things than the blood. In the name of Jesus, use the blood. Somebody pray. Have the wicked one, oh God. You are doing well. Overcome the wicked one, oh God. The blood to overcome the wicked one, oh God. Continue to pray. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let your blood overcome the wicked one. Put up a shatter. Continue to pray. In the name of God. Continue to pray. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let the wicked one, oh God, have a shatter. Somebody pray tonight. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, 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 pray. In the name of Jesus, let your blood speak for you, God. In the wicked one, oh God. In the name of Jesus, with your blood, oh God, you overcome the wicked one. The wicked one who is after my life, oh God. Let your blood, oh God. Let your blood speak. Let your blood speak, oh God. Let your blood speak, oh God. Somebody pray, 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 pray. You are doing what? Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Continue to pray. In the name of Jesus. Continue to pray. Let your blood speak, oh God. Let your blood speak, oh God. Let your blood speak of God in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you are doing very well. You are doing very well. Continue to pray. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the 
name of Jesus. Somebody pray, 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 Intensify your prayer. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Now, now, I'm just seeing this picture. You know, normally in our community, in our community, we are ashamed to come forward when we say this thing. But please, if you're here, don't be ashamed. If sometimes you hear, now listen to this carefully, you hear sounds or, or a voice is speaking to you, come and let's pray for you. You hear sounds or voice speaking to you. Come on, let's pray for you. Just okay, stand there, let's pray for you. Amen. Can, can we all pray for my sister? So, what's your name? Cherish. Cherish. Oh, that's a good name as well. Amen. Praise the Lord. Sir, what's your name, sir? Papaya. Okay. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray for them. God has shown it, then He's ready to deliver. Is somebody here with me? Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. We thank you. We thank you. For you reveal. For you reveal. To redeem. To redeem. Say in the name of Jesus. In Christ, the name of Jesus. We commit cherish. We commit cherish. And papaya. And papaya. Into your hands tonight. Into your hands tonight. We bind. We bind. And we destroy. And we destroy. Any demonic spirit. Any demonic spirit. Speaking to them. Speaking to them. We bind them. We bind them. And we expel it. And we expel them. We cast it out. We cast it out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We command you. We command you. Go. Oh. Now put your hands together and begin to pray Jesus. for them. In the name of Jesus. In the evil voice is so hard. We command you to go now. In the evil Somebody voice. pray. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Somebody we pray. We command you to pray on our bread and behalf. Somebody pray. In the name of Jesus. In the evil voices, in the evil voices, in the Somebody evil pray. voices, hey. in the name of Jesus, in the evil voices, we command you out of their lives, oh God. Somebody pray. You out of their lives, in the name Somebody of Jesus. Somebody pray. In the name of Jesus, hey. in the evil voices, we command you out. Of Somebody their pray. We command you out of their lives, in the name we of Jesus. We bind it in the name in of the Jesus. Name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we expel you, God, now. In the name of God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go. In the, in the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go. Go. Somebody pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus, go to Tori Basataya, Gan Toro Basakataya. We bind you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you evil voice, you evil voice, we bind you tonight. In the name of Jesus, we bind you tonight. In the name of Jesus, we bind you tonight. In the name of Jesus, we bind you tonight. Kato Toro Basakataya, in Shataya. Evil voice, we bind you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we bind you. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, this is going to be our last prayer. Amen. We are going to pray that anybody sitting on your case must get up by fire by Jesus ten. name. Is somebody here with me? Yes. Anybody sitting on your case, anybody standing between you and your case must expire. 
Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. And listen to this. If you pray this prayer sincerely, you will have a testimony. Amen. Very often what is stopping you is something God did not create you to fail. No, there's something standing between you and your breakthrough. Amen. There's a giant. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. For David to be recognized, Goliath had to go. Amen. Yeah. There's a giant. The giant must go. Amen. And after that, his fame spread. Everybody knew David in Israel. After this prayer, everybody will get to know you in the Amen. name of Jesus. Even the ones who don't want to know, they will hey. get to know you. Amen. That giant must go. Yes. Amen. In the case of Daniel, it was a principality. Mm. In the case of Blam Bartimaeus, it was people, physical human yes. beings. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There was a lady who worked in social services. She had a master's. But they would never promote her. So she came to my deliverance meeting. Because of the pandemic, I don't do it anymore. <laughs> online at the moment hey this demon must go yeah she came she came and we prayed do you know that suddenly a, a director came into the company from Canada and just loved her and then created a department and made a manager there Amen. and she now somebody who had not she now owns two houses within three years she now owns two houses within three years. Somebody here with me. Why? There were people who just didn't want her to progress. So she would train people and they'll become managers and she'll be the way she is. And what I'm saying here relates to somebody. Listen to me. Again, don't be ashamed. Towards the end, I will ask you to come and I'll just anoint you. You have this problem at the workplace. I want to pray for you tonight. Not yet. When we, towards the end, I'll call you to come forward. Are you with me? Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any giant. Any giant. Standing between me. Standing between me. And my breakthrough. And my breakthrough. I command you to expire. I command you to expire. Let the angel of the Lord. Let the angel of the Lord. Eliminate you. Eliminate you. Let the mighty hand of Let God. The mighty hand of God. Beat you down. Beat you down. Before my face. Before my face. In the name of in Jesus. In the name Christ. of Jesus. Now put your hands together and pray. Pray with all your strength. Pray with all your might. And my progress. Be the angel of hey. God. Be the angel of God. Somebody pray. Take you out there in the name of Jesus. Somebody in the pray. In the name of Jesus. Lord, intervene, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Clear you out of the way, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Clear you out of the way. Somebody pray, in the pray, name pray, of pray, Jesus. pray, pray, pray. In the name of Jesus. Hey. In the name of Jesus. The enemy is on the run. 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 In between my case. In the name of Jesus. Let the angel of the Lord eliminate you. Let the angel of the Lord eliminates you. Let the angel of the Lord take you out of the place. In the name of Jesus. Somebody out pray. Out of the way, oh God. Out of the way. In the Intensify name of your Jesus. prayer. The enemy out of the way, oh Lord. Intensify out of the way. your prayer. In the name of Jesus. Out of the way, Intensify oh God. Intensify your prayer. Of progress, oh God. You are out doing very well. In the name of Jesus. You are doing in very well. In the name of Jesus. You are doing very well. You are doing very well. God. Continue to pray. You hey. enemy. Sitting in between my case. Sitting on my case. Out of God. May the Lord eliminate you in the name of Jesus. May the Lord eliminate you. Somebody pray, 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 pray. May the Lord eliminate you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go to the Satire. May me you be cleared out of the way. May you be cleared out of the way. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody pray, 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 in the enemy standing in the way, hey. may you be eliminated. Hey. In the name hey. of Jesus. Hey. In the name of Jesus. Hey. In the name hey. of Jesus.
Jesus. Hey! 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 May you be cleared out of the way in the name of Jesus. You hit somebody pray, you pray, pray, pray. In the name of Jesus. May you be cleared. May you be decided in the name of Jesus. Hey. 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 administration till Friday will minister. Amen. But lift up your hands for now. Lift up your hands now. Amen. God is touching you right now. There are Amen. many of you. God is touching you. Just lift up your hands. Amen. The power of God is upon you tonight. Amen. Hey, receive the power of God now. Receive it. Hey. In Jesus name. Amen. Now if you are experiencing that thing at the workplace, come and let me pray for you. Man, you know you are not where you are supposed to be, and at the workplace, and somebody looks like something is resisting your promotion. If you are here, come forward now. I want to pray for you. Come, I want to pray for you. Come, I want to pray for you. Come, pray for you. Hey. Ha, 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 have you? Have you? Don't think you are just playing keyboard. Are you with me? Have you ever been told that you are going to be a preacher? Amen. Amen. So don't think you're just playing keyboard. It's much bigger than that. Amen. Amen. Can I have the oil, please? God has settled this matter. Amen. It's settled. Thank you, sir. You don't mind if I pour oil on you, do you mind, do you? Let's lift up your head, let your head go back a little bit. Father, I thank you. Receive divine covering. Oh, a new mark has been placed on you. Amen. A new mark. A permanent mark of the Holy Ghost is upon you. A permanent mark. Amen. The old one has wiped away. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. From today onwards, you'll be recognized. Amen. You'll be recognized from now onwards. In the mighty name of Jesus Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen. If you have been blessed, put your hands together to the glory of the Lord. Amen. Oh, I said put your hands together to the glory of the Lord if you have been blessed. As we welcome Pastor. Okay. Amen.